Today I will help you to set your carburetor float in the best way to make sure you're going to have the best performance on your scooter. And in this video I will show you how. Ah. Well, hello and welcome everybody. This one is the GY6 150cc scooter carburetor. This one is a 24 millimeter carburetor. Now right here you have the side that the mixture of fuel and air goes inside the motor. This one is the connection right here that where you connect the hose for um, the air filter. Now down here you have the bowl of the carburetor. The importance of having the perfect level on the float of your carburetor is really best for your performance on your scooter. Now what you're gonna do you're gonna remove the four screw that you have right here on the bottom of your carburetor now after that you remove the bottom and you're going to see the float this one is the float of the carburetor underneath you have a little valve now this one needs to be at the right level all the time when there is the fuel now if this one is a little up or a little too much down will close or will open too much the flow of the fuel so this one will move or we decide how much fuel will go to the motor or will go to the bowl first and then we'll go to the motor now if this float is not really set the right way the problem you're going to have an overflow of fuel inside your motor now the performance will be a problem plus you might have uh, the scooter not running perfectly that's another thing because you have too much fuel and also when your scooter is not running if your pet cut that is uh, the fuel valve is not really closing perfectly this one will allow fuel go to inside your engine so if this one will allow fuel to your engine when you're not running your scooter what's the problem that it the fuel will go from the carburetor to the motor to the chamber of combustion and will go inside the motor from the side of the wall of the cylinder and piston so it will go inside the oil so it will mix the fuel inside the oil so sometimes you might have the fuel and oil together because this part right here is failing to close the little valve right here and the pack of fuel valve is not really working the perfect way now the way to set this one is really easy you just have to push a little flap a little top that is back here up or down to make this one level if you look right here to the side the float has a line right here this line right here now this level right here has to be the same distance from here to there to here to here the same way if the distance is too much it will be a little bit open okay the float the needle is right here the needle valve right here is going to be open okay now to have to make sure that this line right here is level with this one right there so about like that you see more or less you have the same distance right here that's what you really need to have all the way now how to manage that distance right here if you look back here you have a little flap by pushing this flap down and elevating the float you're going to bend slightly you're going to bend slightly this top right here okay this one is very important now if this one is too much like that you're going to place a something like that you know or a little toothpick to bend this top again up a little bit okay so by moving and managing this top right here you're going to make this float right here level all the same way until the end okay now to have the perfect to have the perfect level you always have to look of this level right here now this one is an easy thing to do another thing that I like to explain you right down here there is a valve okay this valve right here 
is uh, very important but sometimes with age and with ethanol that is present on the fuel nowadays uh, will get damaged so it beca will become sticky okay so if it will become sticky at that point uh, you have to replace it then you can just buy this little valve and replace it or just buy a new carburetor because this carburetor for now they're still not too expensive okay so this one is the rubber part right here this rubber part right here with time will become sticky if it will be become sticky this what this valve will not open when it needs to be open okay so that's the problem with the fuel nowadays now when you're done you just place everything back together now to set to set the level on your fuel float right here is really easy the only problem it takes a little time for you to you know remove the carburetor and uh, you know work on your carburetor now when you place everything together make sure that the level of the carburetor is perfectly done for you to make sure you're going to have the best performance on your scooter okay at this point i'd like to thank you very much for watching my video feel free to visit my youtube channel where you can find lots of video about your scooter feel free to visit my tiktok channel and click the like button for me thank you very much have a great day thank you